our reporter Patricia Vasahi standing by. Patricia, how are things looking outside that school at the moment? The school down. Yeah. Yes. 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 Close it down. It's not functional. And if the parents are here, they, they have serious allegations. They must not say it's not serious. We cannot keep on uh, keeping quiet because the same educators at the school is throwing the things under the carpet and telling the parents and the children to keep quiet. And they are victimizing the children at school every day to keep quiet. Don't go and tell your parents. Stop bringing your parents to school. Is that right? It is not right. It cannot happen at a primary level. That is unacceptable. And what is happening here in the school, our very same colored educators, that are doing this to our children, so it's not a race thing. We are fighting the system here. We had enough. Enough is enough. And another thing, Director. I'm sorry, I just forgot one thing. The ideas all came last week. Sat in a meeting with them. How can you say in a meeting? that our children do not have menace. a manners. We must go home and teach our children ah. manners. What is she thinking of our children? Our children at the end of the day, if that is right. And another thing, a, a, a parent came and sat stand in front of her, telling her what is happening with her child, was sexually molested, and the child was sick with a perpetrator next into the same class, without the school doing anything, crying in front of her. You know what she said with the grin on her face? Take it to the district. So I'm asking, are we not, are we not human? Are we asking, are we not human? Why are you treating us as substandard people? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I think you summarized it very well. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Um, um, Sir, do you still want to say something? You've no, been yes, raising your hand, or you fine? Okay. No, I just wanted to ask to the director. Yeah. According to your bylaw, your bylaw as government, each child must go to the nearest school where he or she can be able to go to school without any interruption. So what I'm asking you, when you look at the school as it is today, it is actually most of these children has to stand up around five o'clock just to come to school, to be on time. But our own children, who is here in Yesteras, don't get that privilege to be in the school because, because of the system and the way you employ people based on your, on your uh, curriculums, what it needs. But it seems that this school, whenever you want to come into the school, you must be a friend. Because when you look around you, all, and I'm, I'm, it's actually sad to say these black people, our neighbors from Amalori, the reason why they send their children to this school is based on basic education and great education. Because these people, our neighbors, are sick and tired of interrupting of political issues and strikes and those reasons because this community doesn't strike as you know because in the political area they say no, this is an island on its own. We don't fight. But today we come as a community to say enough is enough. We want you people to come to the table because if you can treat our children like that, imagine you have to send a physical disabled child to a school. What will happen to their child? Because I'm only here for the right of people with disability and to support my community at large. So don't make this thing a racial thing, please. Thank you very much. No, we are done. No, we are done. No, we are not no, taking you. Can I no. 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 Why not? No. Why not? No. Okay. Let's, let's, let's move on. We, we, we took, we took, we took all the, we took, okay, no, no, wait, no, wait, no, guys, do we, do we, can, do you want us to, 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 no, she's not going to speak, no, no, let me tell you why, let me tell you why, let me tell you why she's not going to speak now. We want to give the, uh, the opportunity director to respond to all that has been raised, then we'll come for the second round. Okay. okay. Right, director, let's pay the way forward. Just hold on. Okay. Thank you very much. I've, I've recorded the three issues that were raised, um, the issue of safety and security of the learners, 
the quality of learning and teaching in the school and then of course the unlawful appointments and I'd like to respond to those in terms of the information that was shared with us this morning. Look, to be honest, the closing of school gates, that is something that we are doing across the board, which is in effect for the safety of the learners within the premises of the school. Obviously, if parents are requesting appointments and those are not forthcoming, there we will need to intervene. But the issue of having the school as a closed, safe, secure environment is there, of course, for the safety of learners. I think we will need to engage with parents that have been waiting for appointments that maybe have not been um, confirmed by the school and we will look into those particular issues there itself. Um, I want to also just indicate that the issue of sexual assault and bullying at the school, we have received those reports and I have actually commissioned our labor relations unit to come and do a full investigation going right back to I think uh, some of the issues were in 2019, 2020 where um, I don't know if you're aware but I wasn't director then but I'm going to take full responsibility for those and we will look into all those issues that were raised and do a full investigation bearing in mind that parents have to give consent for us to be able to interview the children. So parents, assist us in this process so that you can be part of the solution in finding out exactly what the issues were at school. And that is a commitment we do from the department as well. On the issue of, of quality teaching and learning, my, my view is that every teacher that is appointed at this school would have the necessary qualifications. But we will go back. No, the commitment I make this morning is that I will go back and we will personally check each and every teacher that has been appointed at the school, look at their CVs and ensure that indeed they have the necessary requirements to be serving in this particular school. And if we find that there is something untoward, we will also investigate that. Okay. Then on the issue on unlawful appointments at the school, um, especially when there's no functional SGB, remember that for temporary appointments, the district does those on behalf of the school for post-level ones. Where there are issues around recruitment, I think you all understand policy that the SGB recommends and the department appoints. So we will look into those as well. If there are specific posts that you are concerned about, let's share them and um, we will do the investigation. We'll cover those bases as well. Um, I, I did hear the gentleman talk about children living closest um, should get pref preference mm -hmm. and indeed those are policy regulations. However, we know that regulations have their own stipulations but if there are parents in the immediate community that have not been accommodated at the school, let's bring that to the district as well and we will look into those as well. Mm -hmm. I think I've covered most of the issues raised at this point in time. Uh, Steve, you are welcome to add as well. But, uh, may I ask yeah, the, the issue about the um, the safety. We will also make sure that uh, we bring uh, safety coordinators from head office okay. to work with the, the district uh, safety you know, officer so that we go back into the classroom, uh, make sure that learners are sensitized on all those elements to identify bullying. If there's violence, they, they, they need to be reminded on how to report those cases and um, you know assist identification so that they are safe in the in, in the schooling environment so that process we commit that it will happen uh, as soon as we we are ready we should be in a position to announce that that is happening so what we want to call upon is uh, parents uh, we can probably have if we don't have a, a functional do we have a functional sgb do we have? No. 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 Okay. No. No. Okay. No. okay. It's fine. No, it's fine. The issue of SGB must be resolved, but probably in the meantime, we can have maybe three parents that we can work with closely uh, to make sure that uh, parents are aware of what is happening. I think that uh, communication will assist. Uh, you can nominate three parents that we're going to that we're going to work with and give us the names. And then we will be on a constant basis um, reporting on what is it that we are doing. So, yeah, um, I think we Not we should we should be done. Yeah. Yes. This is where interaction comes. The moment when you say we, are you talking about your department? Are you talking in behalf of the community? Because I think it is just fair for the community. Let them decide who they want to. Appointed the people to represent, but currently, from my point of view, the people who knows the issue, who has it on on black and white, let them be intervene. 
in behalf of the community so that we don't go forward and backward because we can't select. We select the current people who's been there in the school, who's been removed unlawfully. Let them take their lawful space and sort it out. When I, when I, when I was saying we, I said um, I was talking about we. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so as the as, as as the community, you can you can give us the three names. No, uh, so that that will uh, With yeah. all due respect, is going to take so us backwards. Back How can you now expect us to go into the parents and go and nominate people at yeah. uh, Nullywally who doesn't have the full background of what is going on in the school? Mm. Taking us backwards, you can't take us backwards. Yeah. We are here to find a solution to yeah. go forward. Yeah. So the people that have been there from the beginning, at least, will play with the issues at the school. Let them stand for the parents because the parents are not against those people. Mm -hmm. They are there and placed on behalf of the parents. Yeah. Why do you want to take us backwards, sir? They give us no, no, no. No, 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 no. Let's, we, need to, we, need to work, we need to work together. We, we need to work together. There's no, there's, no, there's, no, there's, no, there's no one that has been removed unlawfully. The SGB chairperson has been removed here because of allegations that were put in front of her by the HOD. By the HOD. By the HOD. So, yeah, but there is suspension, isn't it? There is suspension. So, up until we, we deal with those. Yes, so we can't use the SGB chairperson because the SGB chairperson has been removed and she's got the letter. Uh, that uh, if maybe she can read it if she wants to share that information with you. There's no unlawful thing that has happened. Yes. You said we must I'll come to you. I'll come to you. So we select. You said according to you in front of everybody. Yes. You said we must select. Yes. As a community. Yes. Now we select the same table. No, that is not going to work. Then you don't want progress. You can't. Can I respond? No, 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 no. It doesn't work that way. Yes. We can't, we can't want to give us someone that is on suspension. Mr. Mabona, I was in a meeting with the IDSO standing behind you when we raised the issue of the illegal appointments. In the meeting, it was established that the appointments were unlawful. Right after the meeting, Mrs. Tuso asked Valisha, the current suspended chairperson, to sign off the illegal appointments. The very next day, mm -hmm. she received her first suspension letter. Mm -hmm. How lawful is that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're doing exactly what the president is doing to the public protector. Yeah. It was based on emotion because we didn't want to do what you wanted us to do. You are trying to push us in a corner to um, push your agenda. We are not here to work for the department. We are here to protect the children. We are not here for anything else. Okay, thank you. Secondly, you. I also see that when you don't get your way, you are trying to dictate yeah, what's going on. You don't stay in the community. You don't feel the pain of a parent that have to face their child and say, I am so sorry what happened to you. You have never been raped or attempted to be raped at a tender age. Now you come here as a spokesperson for a department that stands for children. I am because I am emotional. Don't tell me what to do. We had enough of telling you, of you telling us what we must do. Secondly and thirdly, you didn't give a time frame for those um, safety officers that's going to be here. And we don't want people from the department only. You are going to take people from the community as well because we don't trust you anymore. The trust has been broken until proven otherwise. Okay, thank you. Okay, thanks. Uh, I guess we have already said... No, wait. No, wait. No, no, wait. I'll give it, I'll give it, wait. I'll give it, wait. Wait. No, 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 wait. Wait, guys, if you want us to continue this meeting, let's, let's, let's hear each other. Unless we're going to close it. No, we'll close it. I'll close it. Can we listen to each other? Let's, we need to have progress. No, we can't, we can't, we can't, we can't operate this way, please. Now, now, as a way forward, that's why we said we, the directors for the first time, she's here. She made all the notes. She committed to go back 
and make sure that there's verification of, of facts and uh, if there's further action that needs to be taken. She committed here now today. So we can't be going back and say uh, we, we, things are not being attended. So moving forward with all that she has uh, committed, like as we've already indicated, we need three parents that are going to represent you. And please, uh, you can, they, they can volunteer, uh, give us those names. We will interact with them on the way forward, including the, t the timeline on when the, 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 the safety officers are going to be coming here. We don't have a problem in including members from the community, those that have a, 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 a professional in terms of uh, the safety uh, you know, uh, of, our, of our children. We can, we can have those local people that are going to be assisting our officials. So uh, I think we need to close it here. Yes, okay. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. So when you call the let's meeting, have, sir, let's have, I, let's when have we call the meeting, minutes. sir, listen, no, no, when we call the meeting, what was the agreement? What was the agreement? You will listen to the grievances of the parents. Yes, we've listened. We've listened to everything. But you can't. Okay, wait, wait. But guys, you can't keep your word on national TV. How can we trust you? You cannot. You said when the going to talk in the second round. We can't trust you. Let me just listen. our reporter um, Patricia Vasaka keeping a close eye on things as they develop outside that school there in Esteras where uh, parents have continued to uh, raise their issues and concerns about firstly the quality of education that the school is giving um, their learners it is of course a primary school but there also have been complaints around sexual abuse um, of the children at the school a spokesperson for the Gauteng Department of Education attempting uh, to speak to those parents there um, and hear their concerns and of course map out a way forward. 